What's up guys, it's Chris. Uh, we got another vintage haul here today. Uh, this is stuff I picked up between uh, yesterday and I did a little uh, picking today um, while I was out running some errands. So let's run through it. Um, we got this Springfield Rocks, pretty fucking crazy Simpsons graphic. 2005, not too old, but definitely still sick with the glitter print. Um, and then I, uh, I thought I, I have another Simpsons tee. I thought I had that under here. Um, but then we got this uh, pretty cool um, New York Jets. Um, I'm thinking probably like late 90s. Um, uh, Curtis Martin uh, cotton style jersey. The, long, the longer sleeves here. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, that's yeah, 19, 1998. Cool, uh, cool piece, cotton style jersey, huge Jets logo on the front. You know, and there's the other Simpsons one, just Homer with the uh, ACDC font. Um, I had to, I had to pick up both. I couldn't just leave this one behind because uh, norm, normally, normally if I found, if I found that one, I probably would have normally left this one, but. You know, I got excited finding that big Springfield Rocks one, and uh, so I had to uh, uh, grab this one as well. And there's there's Bray. She's going to be up here in like two seconds. Um, and then I picked up this uh, 2006 John Cena, pretty crazy John Cena tee, um, and it's pretty well worn in. Um, on the WWE tag. This one will probably sit on it for a little while. Sit on this for like another few years and then see what's good. Big uh, WWE graphic on the back. Pretty sick. Um, and then an Eagles tee, single stitch, true fan, sportswear. The little Eagles thing going there let me try and get this it's got this cool like mesh print i, I had a crew neck uh sweatshirt that i picked up over the summer that had this same style graphic and then oh uh, this is uh one thing that's pretty cool something you can look out for these are uh russell pro cotton tees um i only found one but there was this one time i found like three of i think three of them all at once um You'll be able to recognize them. They kind of have like this, usually like these um, kind of like chalky colored tees, like like navy blue, like uh, this kind of like khaki green, jungle green, you know, those kinds of colors. And it'll have this big tab sewn in right here. And you'll be able to tell by Pro Cotton. These sell pretty well um, and for decent money. So definitely if you see them, don't uh, just uh, make sure you double check. Um, they're not, I, I don't know if they're like vintage, but I, I know they're, they're definitely older. Um, but, and then I found this pretty sweet, uh, Hellboy animated tee and it has a little thing on the back, the website, go to hellboy.com. Don't know if that site is still active as I'm pretty sure these came out around the same time as the first, uh, Hellboy movie back in like, was it like 2000? Four two thousand five, so pretty cool tea. And then uh, today, I got this Marlboro backpack. Got there to uh, got to Goodwill late in the day, really late. And this bag was just just chilling there, hanging on the <clears throat> on one of the uh, end caps. So had to grab it. It was only five bucks. It's in great shape. It's got the little Marlboro imprint on the back here. Uh, most of your Marlboro stuff, I feel like all the Marlboro stuff I find is like very, very gently used. It's usually just got storage wear and like just little scuffs from being folded up, you can see. But I mean, definitely an awesome find. I'll take it any day. And then, uh, should, I, should I stick with the, I'll stick with the clothes. Uh, got a lot of uh, denim here. Uh, some polo denim, two pairs. Um, I've been picking up this tag, um, this this patch here, the where it has the Polo Ralph Lauren spelled out. <clears throat> These seem to sell pretty well. I've sold one pair 
um, very quickly. They had a very quick turnaround. So um, I'm just I'm testing all this stuff out with the, with the jeans. I'm, I'm trying to learn more about jeans, and and uh, so far, all the pairs I've picked up have sold within a couple days. So maybe I'm just letting them go too cheap. Who knows? But then we have this other pair of Lee denim. I believe these are vintage. Um, if we look inside here, um, inside the uh, so you can see it says made in USA, and then we flip the other side. And it's got the uh, the union ma uh, union made stamp. I'm sorry, I'm like spinning this shit around trying to. So I'm pretty sure these are vintage. Uh, not too much information about Lee denim. You know, you find a lot of info about Levi's. Uh, as far as I can tell, Lee um, stopped making things in the USA in like the mid '90s. So. Um, hoping that they're actually vintage. I got to do a little more research and then same thing here um, Another uh, I believe to be a vintage pair this one has uh, And this one's also in like great shape this is practically like raw denim and then uh, Where's the ta yeah, so this one says made in USA you can see it's upside down, but no uh, no stamp um, I don't know, but still, I think uh, we'll be able to sell them no problem uh, either way. And then just a random pair that I've picked up, this uh, Buffalo David Hitton. I don't even know, man, but I looked these up and they seem to be selling pretty well. They got all this like shit and tags and all this other stuff in here. Back pocket's kind of weird, um, but they're in great condition. I'll take a chance on them. And then... Uh, another pair of L.L. Bean jeans. I just uh, picked up a pair of L.L. Bean jeans uh, the other day, and they sold like same in, at the, in the same day. So trying a few other things, um, and I'll let you know how it works. Thanks for watching.